Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. I received a message from Weggles uh, not so long ago. It says, I need some help with dual booting. My dad had the option of buying his old laptop from work for $100. So he did. He had to send it back to the company HQ to be cleared of all company programs and files. There's still Windows XP and Windows NT, so now there are two operating systems. He wants to get rid of Windows NT so that it doesn't ask him which one to choose at startup and to conserve disk space. How, do we, how would we go about doing this? We found a folder on the C drive called Windows NT, uh, sorry, WinNT. Uh, if we delete that, will it work slash not screw up XP, or is there some form of wizard to use to remove the second OS? Uh, thanks for your question, Wiggles. Unfortunately, there isn't a wizard like a Windows wizard where you just press next and it will remove the OS for you. Uh, you have to actually go and find out where the OS is located to start with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to My Computer, right-click, press Properties, go to the Advanced tab, and then say Startup and Recovery. Press Settings. You'll notice that it says System Startup, your default operating system. Now, if in your case, Wiggles, it will probably say Windows XP here. And then if you press the drop down arrow, it will have Windows NT underneath here or something like that. Now, what you need to do is then press the edit button and you'll notice that you're inside boot.ini. Now, boot.ini controls what operating systems start up on a computer. So, yours will probably say timeout, something like 30 or something like that, default, and then it will be your um, Windows XP. And then it will say operating systems. You should have two here. Uh, this will say this says multi -di multi disk R disk partition two. This is in my case, it might say one or three or something. Uh, say Windows, and then it says Microsoft Windows XP Professional, and then load of arguments that it does afterwards. Now you may have a second one that says multi disk R disk partition three, and then a slash, and then Windows, where it will say Microsoft Windows NT. If it says that, then um, it it means that it will be on a different drive because when you partition up your computer you're essentially using the same drive but you're splitting it into parts and Windows will then recognize it as separate disks on each part so that's uh, if it says multi-disk R disk partition 2 um, and then a slash and then say win NT then as you said here where you found a win NT folder you'll be safe to delete that because that, that is where it starts up from so uh, what you can then do, to firstly you want to remove it from the boot menu which is uh, fairly easy to do um, all you need to do is, you'll see it says multi-disk R disk partition 3, 2, 1, Windows NT or something where it says in brackets, in uh, quotes, Microsoft Windows NT you just delete that line, so like I'm doing now I'm just deleting Windows XP, I'm obviously not going to save this so delete that and then you should be left with one operating system here now don't change the default because uh, that will probably be with Windows XP and the timeout doesn't matter either so you can then save this and exit it and then you'll notice that the default operating system will look like this Microsoft Windows XP Professional so then you say OK um, when you find out where your uh, if you if your uh, operating system is on a separate partition or on the same one you can then figure out where your where you can delete your file so or your folder um, if it says partition 3 all you need to do is go into my computer and you'll find that you have more than one drive than the C drive and you'll have like a D drive or something like that and that will have Windows NT on it now after you've removed it from the um, this uh, boot anything you can then practically erase the whole drive and use it as a drive um, you can also merge it with drive C but you need a partition manager for that I think cute partition manager does it but that means restarting your computer and going for a load of processes um, now just to make sure it, it does um, it, it should work because um, usually you have to install Windows NT first and then XP so XP will run off drive C um, because it may be swapped around, it may say the default operating system is Windows NT but you'll soon know because when you turn your computer on then, and leave it, it will go into your default so um, the default will usually be drive C, so XP should be in drive C um, so by deleting this NT folder or deleting the other hard drive it shouldn't affect it because the default drive is Windows XP So that's about it really, I um, can't think of anything else to say for this, I hope this helps um, Wiggles, please let me know if you um, if this has fixed it 
If not, I'll try to provide more assistance. And if anybody has any other tech questions or any help that they need with their PC, I'll, be, I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks for watching.